Excel project part three. So, and we're gonna go back. So now we're gonna start in question ten. I mean instruction ten. Ravi wants to show invoices for security plans only, and what to make the pivot table easier to input. Modify the pivot table as follows to meet Ravi's request. Use unpaid as the column heading in cell C four. So, first, um, yeah, so, we're gonna go here, we're gonna, we're gonna click on false, so then we're gonna click, we're gonna click on the top bar, and we're gonna change it to unpaid, make sure you type it right. Then it says, use paid as the column heading in cell D4. So D4 right here. True. And change that to pay. P I A P. Make sure it's spelled correctly or it's going to get credit. Okay. Then it says filter the pivot table to display the invoices for the security plan and the security plan for apartment building contract types so you see the thing that says call um all right here contract type and then right there it says all you're gonna click on you know, check select all let's go all the way to the bottom it just says security plan and security plan for apartment okay so now once you do that it should look like this this is what you get right okay up to step 11 return to the customer's worksheet in the ranges J2 to K5, Ravi wants to list the total contract amounts for the three cities. Exact, extract this information from the pivot table on the contracts by city worksheet as follows. In K3, use the get pivot table function to display the total contract amount for Atlanta from the pivot table on contracts by city worksheet. So, we're going to go to the customer's worksheet. Now, this is what we're going to be working on. Right here, you can see. So, you're going to click an equal sign in Atlantica. Atlanta. Okay, then you go to contracts by city. You're going to go to, you're going to find from row labels, you're going to find Atlanta right here. Make sure, but make sure you, um, you go to the grand total, which is right here, 70 Seventy thousand. You click enter, and it should look like this. Then it says, um, in cell K four, use the get pivot table date function to display the total contract amount for College Park from the pivot table on the contracts by city worksheet. So you do the same. Okay, so we're gonna click an equal. Go back to contracts by city. We're gonna find College Park all the way to so College Park P15 right here. You click on it and you're gonna click enter or return and boom 14,875 and then it says in cell K5 use a get pivot data function to display the total contracts amount from Dunwoody from the pivot table on the contracts by city worksheet. Save the workbook. Make sure to save it as a micro enabled workbook. Okay, so we're gonna click equal again. Go to contracts by city. Find Dun Dunwoody. I'm gonna go find its total, which is 10,250, click that, click enter, and boom. So this is how it should look like in the end. Okay. Thanks for watching, and like and subscribe.